if there's someone that's very very young might be really religious and like values marriage a lot and goes into a marriage and has kids when they're like 18 19 20 and then um, a year into the relationship it gets really really abusive. from who you from both this is so uh, rare anyone it's anyone so really go on. Happens. go on I'm just, go on it, my, my point is i'm just yeah even though it might be rare from what you guys think it is uh, if it would happen, what would you recommend for those people to do? Would they divorce, or do you want them to keep going in the relationship? Keep going. You can't divorce. I mean, that's not a real thing. Uh, you can, like, separate. See? His Catholic background shines through. He yeah, knows. That. <laughs> you can't divorce. For real you, can, you can separate, but you can't actually divorce. That's not a real thing. Even though it might be, like, physically it, abusive? Because you got to endure. People are too... You want to stick in the relationship? People are just... See, I mean, like, look, people I'm, nowadays I'm be honest. are just pussies. Everybody fucking quits. <laughs> um, but if you're looking for me, I'll be in my home space over here. <clears throat> you're what? Cool. You're not you're not willing to endure this? <laughs> yeah, I'm the divor I'm divorcing this subject. <laughs> so <laughs> you, think you have to endure. I understand the sentiment that people feel like folks divorce too easily and for the wrong reasons. Okay, I understand, and I can even get behind that sentiment to a degree. But also, people marry for the wrong reason and too easily. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to say, uh, beating your wife is a good reason for a divorce. I, 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 like, you can say, okay, well, I stuck through it and we figured out, and maybe you have. But expecting other people who are getting their ass beat to stay in a marriage where they're getting beaten up is crazy. Endure. People quit too now easily nowadays. What? That's a response to somebody who's being physically beaten by their partner? You know, they sit here and they talk about single parent households this, single parent households that. Do you think it's good to raise a child? In a violent environment? That's even worse. There's some relationship. You talk about it's bad to be single. There's some people that are still together and has been, been a detriment to kids. Why, babe? Because it was a toxic environment. Yep. But whatever. I'll even say this. I think it's far worse to grow up in an environment where your dad beats your mom on a regular basis, or he beats the kids, or they she beats him, whatever it might be. That's way worse than growing up in a single-parent household. I wouldn't even consider the two in the same ballpark. You have to understand, okay? I hate bringing this up because people make it a bigger deal than this, but then you have these retards who get on podcasts and proudly say, you should endure, you should endure. You do realize that most of the people who die in relationships as a result of spousal violence or women, right? So how do you expect any of your movements to be taken seriously and to not be seen as anti-woman when your advice to women who are being beaten up by their partners is to endure. endure? Everybody fucking quits. Everybody gives up. It's too hard. I'm this X, Y, Z. This is why I'm special so I can fuck up this entire situation. Or maybe the person who fucked up and gave up is the person who beat their partner. Is that not a possibility? To me personally, the person who decides to lay their hands on the person they're supposed to protect to their dying breath is probably the deadbeat loser who gave up on the relationship. But maybe that's a hot take. Maybe I'm the retard in all this. That's I'll tell you what, endure. Just, I'll tell okay. you what I would do. Mm -hmm. if, if my daughter was in a relationship with a guy and she gets married to him and he starts abusing her a Kill year into it. No, 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 wait, wait. no, 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 Time out. What the Slack, time out, time out. What the f time did you out. say? Time out. No way, time there's out. no way. Time out. So when it's your daughter kill him, no, she should endure. But when it's other people, they shouldn't get divorced. What? So if you're- Cards. So you see how they have different rules for the women in their lives, but for the women in general that they're not connected to, who they don't Cards. have to have any empathy for, they're saying endure. Cards. Man says, oh, no, no. But if it's your daughter, you're going to murder her. You're gonna, yeah, you're going to murder him. This yeah. is the time when conservatives just sound retarded, okay? And this is the time where they have, you know how the left people, this is their retardation. And the reality is people just haven't learned to fucking endure. There have been hard times in relationship. I'm sure you guys had hard times in relationship. Any relationship has hard times. Okay. And it is what it is. You need to push through. Hard times is such a general thing. So it's like, there's a difference between you guys are going through financial struggles and you giving your girl black eyes because you don't like your job. I mean, like, there's a difference between those two things. Yeah, yeah, me and me, Preach, we've been struggling through things. Oh, yeah, uh, Preach been stealing from my bank account every month. That's a different kind of endure. You know what I'm saying? What you looking at me for? Don't, don't put shit on me I haven't done. I never said you did. 
I'm giving a hypothetical. Yeah. There's a difference between us going through things financially because the business not doing well and you stealing money. Someone looking at me because you stole money and saying, "Endure." I'm like, "Nigga, who you talking to?" But even if, if even if I stole money, uh huh. What? Push through, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Do you know how quick this channel would be over if I found out you sold a whole substantial oh, amount boy, of money? Of course, man. I would never live with myself same, doing that to you. Same, same. same. Uh, exactly. Same, same. But I don't even have to stress that. I'm never having to it worry about that. It mat <laughs> but you stole money? It's not it even but, the money. Because you know me. Money but, not that deep. To but, me, it's the principle. But endure. <laughs> like, we got a good... No, but bro, we got a good thing going on. Because I'm sitting here thinking like... It's just money. So, exactly. You could have just asked me. I'm giving you the cash. But, yo, it's just... Okay, You so, steal from me? Okay, so what's the problem nah, then? No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Endure. Because what we're in this situation now, like, where everybody's just creating these, like, super nuanced, like, 1% example of, like, well, what if the kids... Fuck super nuanced? Well, like, uh, do you think... If, if do you think spousal... Do you think spousal? What? Wait, do you think spousal like a one percent thing? Yo, play for even deep down not I'm actually curious. Minimum on where? It's not that rare. You talk about she went. If the relationship is abusive, what do they do? Nearly twenty percent of marriages and intimate partnerships will experience physical violence, according to the American Association of Marriage and Family Therapy. Let's say it's not twenty percent, ten percent. That's still a lot. Like I think if you guys look into your lives, I don't know about y'all. But me personally, I think most of us can say that we've known somebody who's been in an abusive relationship or marriage. I know several. Relationships for sure. Marriage, a few only. It's not that uncommon. And there's a lot of shame and hush-hushness associated oh, with that. Man. You probably got family members who are married to somebody who beat them but didn't want to talk about it publicly. They won't because you couldn't tell them to push through. Yes. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah. You know, summer is coming out and things are going to be pretty hot for your skin. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to use anything that's going to be able to, you know, ouch. Hot. That's going to be able to hurt your skin. You want something soft. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come here. That's why TH Henley has the product for you. Yeah, you do not want to use some abrasive stuff on your skin. Some of you are degenerate soap. From the dishwasher to washing nooks and crannies, come on, pass on, baby. Summer is coming. If you don't know what to do with your skin, I would suggest you to use the level one box. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff, a scrub to get in the nooks and crannies to get all the little residue out. You know, there's a daily facial wash. There's also an AM moisturizer with SPF 15. No, it's SPS 20 for the sun, yeah. <laughs> use them promo, TH Henley, use that thing. It's really great, it's for your skin and it's soft. And since ah, the wonderful weather is coming, you do want to be able to use that. And I have a wonderful skin. Yeah. Mm, thank you for that. If you click on the link below, you will not only save 30% of your first box, but you will also receive a gift and get your skin ready for summer. You know. Yeah. Well, that started. How about you? Like, cool, okay, yeah. <laughs> I get like that one fucking minute situation. No, but I'm asking situation. for anyone that might be in that situation, what would you recommend? Okay, endure. endure. Would they you give what, up I'll divorce? Endure. endure. I don't... This just repeats the word, that's crazy. So, doctor, uh, so I have to explain my... Endure! Endure, yeah. okay? You're being a pussy right now. Two tiny laws, uh, a glass of water, go to sleep. Endure, okay? It's Man. normal. Man, like, I got a whole kidney it's, infection. It's, 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 it's normal. You're in pain, right? <laughs> Yeah, and then people think that we're going nuclear with this shit, like with the, the, the painting and the doctor. Yeah, but it's an illness. It's a problem that you have in your body. It's a bit the same thing with a relationship. When something like that is happening and going on, it can affect the rest of your body. It, 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 things like that can actually affect, and I'm talking about just not physical, but verbal abuse. That affects your body. There's plenty of things your partner can say to you that you wish you would have just punched you for. Or oh. they would hit you. And I think you guys can think, think about what the worst thing your partner can tell you in terms of your insecurities or that would be hurtful to you. But even your friends. Yeah, I've seen men broken by conversations at dinner tables. When a woman said something too much about her man or a man said something, I'm like, whoo, this shit gonna be toxic tonight. You should have just slapped her because that probably would have got over a bit better. But anyways. Shout out to you, Will. I'll tell you what. <laughs> so you just brought a Will Smith there. But... 
Okay, okay, okay. Petty, yes, but. I, I'm gonna I'm be showing up on their doorstep and teaching him some lessons. Exactly. That's that's what I would do. I okay, also would but, not, um, if 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 I didn't have the you know capacity to do that for some reason, I don't know. I wouldn't want my daughter in that situation, yeah. quite frankly. And yeah. I understand the argument to endure because I have people close to me who grew up in abusive households, and it lasted for periods of time, and it was a phase, and they endured through it. And they ended up raising healthy, successful families. What Jesus. about if uh, two people so, get married, to have a kid, and then the wife starts cheating? Do you think they should divorce? Absolutely. They should yeah. divorce then? Jesus himself you don't said. Think they Jesus, hold on, hold on. Jesus himself and you could, like, said. work things through, right? Jesus himself said in, in cases of adultery, divorce is So permissible. you think the divorce is worse than physical abuse? Oh, yeah, she got him there. Hold she on. got him there. All this time, they're Catholics, right? Yeah. Oh. Well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Some of them are Catholics. You know what I mean? They wear it as a badge to be able to yes, say yes, this. Yes, 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 yes. Their behavior and what they actually advocate for in other areas, not sure it's so Catholic. But anyways, you notice the whole endure thing goes right out the window when it's cheating. You can beat your partner, work it out. But if they cheat on you, it's a wrap. If your sister, okay, was like, or somebody in your life was in a relationship or marriage and you found out they were being cheated on, you'd probably be upset. If you found out they were getting their ass beaten, wouldn't you have a completely different reaction? Which one would you be like, I'm a killer? Like, cheating is a thing that happens. Don't endure it. Get out of the relationship. Fine. But your loved one is being beaten? Imagine the guy, the guy goes to the girl. Yo, what up, baby girl? So, would you rather me cheating on you or beating the fuck out of you? Choose, because it's happening now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. This is crazy to me that these guys are just sitting here like side dick unacceptable, but side punches are fine. You know, oh, like a right hook. Wow. Like, I don't know. To me, it's just crazy. With their, with their, hold on. People are pussies. They don't want to fight. They don't want to endure. What about cheating? No. Got to go. Got to go. She got to go. Got to go. She got to go. She got to go. What happened to your endure philosophy? What happened? I guess your emotions are more important than her physical body. I, I like the fact that... That's a lot. I like the fact that they always talk about enduring. Like, back in the day, they, people used to endure. Like, yeah, they did. But it's not because they had choice. They didn't have a choice. So they endure. And did that make him better? Not really. There's a lot of people that endured. Remember here in Quebec, in Quebec, uh, back then, they used to tell women that they had to have ch ch they had to have kids and kids and kids and kids and kids. That's what they were supposed to do. Children and children and children. And there was some of these women, more than we'd like to like of these women to you, you'd say, yeah, it's just a little percentile. But more than we couldn't have 14, 16, 17 kids. But they had to do it because they... Catholic Church said, you know what? You have to endure and push more babies. And the lady couldn't. And what happened? Death. And then a man was supposed to raise 17 kids with the oldest trying to do the best. To Yeah, they endured. They did endure. It doesn't necessarily make it better. Or it doesn't mean that it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. They used to do it back then. Yeah, look at the ramification of that. Look around the ramification of things and people enduring. I don't know. It makes up for very miserable people. But then again, you said they're Catholics. Oh, I get it. Nothing against cat. Nothing against Catholics. But I don't know. It's just very square. And it's it's, it's I don't know. It's a bit frightening. Just just knowing that these people are influencing so many people and some of the stuff that they're saying to young men is like, yeah, you're a woman. She should endure you beating her. That's the dumbest shit I've heard today. Congratulations, guys. Like these people might be the result, or might be the people who like sanction. You know, folks end up beating people. Just like, oh, endure it. Tolerate it. How about the advice stick to this? If you beat your partner, you're a garbage-ass person, and you might need some therapy to fix your own fucking issues. Mm -hmm. How about focusing on that end? And not expecting women, okay? Okay? The ones who overwhelmingly take the brunt of it and the worst ends of it to just sit there and be punching bags for men who haven't dealt with their fucking issues. How about not putting kids through those kinds of environments? Well, just a thought. That is it for today's video. Let us know what you guys think. Were you guys able to endure all this with us? If you are, now you're ready for an abusive relationship. Congratulations. Anything else? No, no. All right, peace.